Good to see you again. Today we are going to learn about percentages. Let's move towards the definition. What are percentages? A rate, number or amount in each hundred or any proportion or share in relation to a whole. So what is the formula of percentages? The formula of percentage is obtained value over maximum value multiplied by 100. Let's follow this example to get to know about how to find the percentage. Consider we have a, an examination with total 100 marks and we have obtained 50 marks in the examination of total 100 marks. So the obtained value will be 50 and the total marks will be 100. So to find the percentage, we need to divide 50 by 100 and then the answer will be multiplied with 100. So what we get is that 100 will be cancelled with 100 and the answer we get is 50. So that answer will be 50%. We got 50% marks in our test in which we obtained 50 marks out of 100. Quite easy. So let's move towards few another examples how to find the percentage and what percentage really is. Percentage is basically a value out of 100. So if we have 47 here we have 47 shaded boxes out of 100 boxes so we can say that we have 47 percent amount of boxes shaded we do not need to say we have 47 out of 100 basically the percentage is out of 100 so here we have 38 shaded boxes out of these whole 100 boxes so we will say we have 38 percent of the boxes shaded we do not need to say 38 out of 100 so same goes for 28% and 30%, 80% and 75%. Let's move forward. Here we have few tips and tricks. The first tip is to find 10%, divide the original number by 10, which means that if you want to find 10% of 100, what you need to do is you need to simply divide the value with by 10. You do not need to find the whole uh, you do not need to put the values in the whole percentage formula. Simply divide 10, 100 by 10 and you will get 10% 10 of 100 and you get 10. To find 21% find 10% and double it. Which means that simply find the 10% divide the value with 10 and whatever the answer you get just double it. With, uh, as you can see that 10 plus 10 makes 20. To find 50% simply half it. Which means that you do not need to find the percentage whenever you are trying to find 50% of some value. For example, if you want to find 50% of 1000, just divide it by 50 or find its half. Uh, do not need to divide it by 50, you just need to find its half. That is half of mm, 1000 is 500, which means that you need to divide by 2. To find 25%, half the value you get by finding 50% which means that just divide it by 2 and then again divide it by 2. To find 5% find 10% and then whatever the answer you get just half it. To find 1% divide by 100. To find 1% you simply need to divide by 100 you do not need to find any percentages you do not need to get yourself involved in extra activities. Let's move forward. Here we have a circle Consider the circle area is 100% and now we will divide it into percentages. We will find the area or the shaded region in terms of percentage. So here you can see this whole piece is 25% and you need to whenever you when you add this 25 and 25 you get 50% so which means that half of the circle is 50% that is half circle will be 50% that is half will always be 50% and again when you add it 25 25 and 25 you get 75% and then again you add 25 you get whole 100% I hope you got it now let's move forward here we have a question in an election Stella gained 28,416 votes out of a total of 38,400 votes write 28,416 as a percentage of 38,400 you can see that the obtained votes are 28,416 and the total number of votes are 38,400. So to find the percentage, we need to put it in its formula, which is simple. Obtained amount divided by total amount multiplied by 100. 
the answer will be 74%. In 1999, the minimum wage for adults was £3.6 per hour. In 2013, it was £6.31 per hour. Work out the percentage increase in the minimum wage. Here. First, you need to find the increase that occurred. So for that, you need to subtract 3.60 from 6.31 and you get 2.71. So 2.71 is the increase in the wages. So the increase, the increase is 2.71, that is the difference. So the difference will be divided by the initial value, initial amount, and then multiplied by 100, you can get that 75.27% was the increase in the minimum wage. So here we have another question. In a company, the ratio of the number of men to the number of women is 3 ratio 2. 40% of the men are under the age of 25. 10% of the women are under the age of 25. What, uh, what percentage of all the people in the company are the under the age of 25? Here we have 3 ratio 2. So to check 3 ratio 2 in terms of percentage, we simply add these two terms, that is 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. We divide them with 5 and multiply them with 100. So that is simple, we get 60% and we get 40%, which means that 3 divided by 5 multiplied by 100 will give us 60 and 2 divided by 5 multiplied by 100 will give us 40. So now we have these ratios in terms of percentages. For men, 40% of 60 is equal to 24%, which means that 60 multiplied by 40 divided by 100, that is 40% of 60. And for women, 10% of 40 will be 40 multiplied by 10 over 100. That is 4%. Total people under age 25 are 24 plus 4, that is 24% men and 4% women. So the uh, number of people under age 25 are 24 plus 4, 28%. 28% people are under age 25, irrespective of their genders, whether they are male, female. Let's move forward. Here is another question. It is so simple that the calculate the increase in 400 by 7 per percent so we need to find 7 percent of 400 that is 400 multiplied by 7 divided by 100 that is 28 so 28 is the increased amount in 400 new amount will be 400 plus 28 that is 400 is the initial amount and 28 is the increased amount so, uh, increased amount so 400 plus 28 is equal to 428 428 is the new amount after the increase of 7 percent Calculate the decrease. This is also simple. Simply you need to find 7% of 400, that is 28, and you need to subtract 28 for 400, from 400, that is 372. Simple. We are done with today. Now let's move towards some practice questions which you need to do yourself. Jake needs to find a selling price which is 12% more than 766. Find the selling price. Now you need to do these questions yourself. I hope you are capable of solving all these questions. If you have any queries, we can see each other very soon. Let's move forward. Message of the day is, eat all the past bad pages from the book of life. Believe me, they're delicious. Thank you so much. Keep following my tutorials. I'm your tutor Shari Salman and the reference website is written www.sensebusiness.co.uk. Thank you so much. See you soon. Take care.